The most I've done in coding is made like a a copy of Balloon Tower Defense. <laughs> I've, I've made some basic Doom stuff. As well. uh, I've done Doom too. Doom was probably hard. It was. Yeah. And it was like me and five other friends as a school final project. I can my imagine. Computer science class. Yeah, we had to like get the gun models, get the character animations. We had an artist that did all the stuff. That's I was in charge of like the guns. the guns. The patch notes just say fix the likely performance draining issue with dedicated server is all it says. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it does actually. I was expecting a wall of text, but that's all. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. That's exceptional news. I love performance improvements in games. I hate lag, I hate disconnecting. It's literally like the bane of my existence. Oh wow, there was like no rollback. Yeah, yeah no rollback. No roll yeah, I'm literally where yeah, I was. Really? It was the kick. The server, it's it's server. hasn't it has like reset yet. Yeah, I think that was just oh, like okay. kick real quick. Alright. Well, I'm still here, man. I'm still working. Alright, they said it was gonna be down in an hour. Uh, in an hour? They said 20 minutes. No, it was gonna be down in an hour for 20 minutes. Oh. Hey. Well. I wonder how far back we'll be set. I hope not much, if any. Well. Debating whether I want to risk trying to ferry those guns over to my base. I think it's just worth it to continue to do only safe projects where you can't log in and die. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. I'll just keep getting fiber and shit. Yeah, I'm just making oh, narcotics. Level. T-Rex. Level. Or is it hostile? Like, I need details, not T-Rex. No, no, like, I just logged in and it's attacking me in melee. Oh. Oh, oh. what level is it? Uh, I think it was five. Well, can mark the crap out of that thing. Alright, well... Oh, you know, when this game's finished, I wonder if they'll have things like mount armor, where you can like put a full set of Ooh. armor on, the, on your dinos. Yeah, I remember so, when like, I got my... Already T-Rex and Battle Ready Spino and all that shit. Yeah. Think like cataphract armor for your mount. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, like like all that stuff. Like armor plating on the sides, on the head. Dude, when I when I got great. my first armored gladiator nether drake in Burning Crusade, oh, I literally just my pants over and over for days. Like the same way that we have flak armor, like what if we put that armor on mounts? Yeah. There's like different kinds, like you could put a cloth armor set or like something That looks like... so silly if you put cloth on him. But it might look pretty for like the fairies out there. Yeah, then you can dye that armor and just like that solves both problems. Yeah, but I want war paint. That's what I want. I want war paint. I want people to see on my face and on my map, we are at war. And we're coming to eat you with colors on our face. Oh my goodness, dude. It's all gonna be cool. Like, this yeah. game. It can only give get give better with year. the way it is right now. Give like... it a year. Like, seriously. No kidding. At this pace, a year from now, just imagine what they're gonna have in here. They're only six months they're... in right now, if you think about it. It's like six and a half months, maybe. Six and a half months, and they're like releasing dinosaurs and updates left and right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're working real hard, dude. I'm telling you, like, I would love to work with these guys. These guys are on the ball, dude. They know how to make a game. Yeah, and they get the right mindset with, uh, you know, with the community and such. Yeah, like, they gave you the freedom to make your own missions. I love that. I've always been saying that for years. That is an essential part of any game. You don't need quest givers. You don't need to go kill 10 boars and 10 cows to win at the game. You need to just figure out your own mission. You need to have diplomacy, so that requires PvP. And, like, they've hit so many of these nails on the head, man. Like, these guys really sat down and figured out a lot of the beauties that make other games successful and combined them into one. Well, just putting dinosaurs in a game makes it kick ass. 
Yeah, but I've seen I've seen games that have things like that, not exactly dinosaurs, and they're just stupid. The Ryan. They're just stupid. It's like, hey, have your baby dino. It's like, here's a Tamagotchi game on a computer with dinos. It's like, I don't need this right now. I honestly love the fact that they've just taken, like, I mean, not all of the cases, of course, because there's some mythological stuff in here, too, but they've taken, like, legitimate animals from Earth's history that have gone extinct and put them in the game. It's pretty sweet. They said they want to add all of them. They're crazy. They're actually very ambitious. They the want to add every enemy. pretty good. Like, you're all part of this experiment shit, and you're dropped into, like, this experimental island, and it's like, there you go. There you go. I think it's more survival. than that, because there's aliens, It is dude. survival involved, though. Well, I'm waiting to see what Ascension is all about, too. Like, if you've read some of their posts hinting at what's going to happen when they start revealing the actual storyline behind it, they're talking about, like, Ascending and, and you know, finding out what these, uh, they described it as, quote, ma Matrix-like uh, stuff. Interesting. Yeah, so I don't know what that means, but it's gonna be cool what it, you know, whatever it does mean when they start unveiling it. What the hell is my space at? Yeah, I'm just a little over encumbered. Uh, I guess I can just leave the thatch here for now. Where's this diet again? In the uh, Ryan's corner. Hey, Buff, look at me. Look behind you. What? I'm still unmovable? Behind you to, to the to the right. Gotta be moving nice. now. There you go. It's in Ryan's corner and there's a box called Die Box. Yo, yo, so like uh Xphobia just asked me, did anybody raid Zero from our tribe? And I don't think anybody did. Nah. No. Nope. We did get raided though. Hey, what's up, Bolin? Yeah, we, we got raided by some silly bandits who did like dumb things like steal our narcotics and like break a couple farming plots. Did we lose anything else? I don't think, think we did. did. Yeah, I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure that was it. Silly geese. Did you guys lose anything important down at Big Nick? Other than whoever was in our outside crates was mostly just farming, like, crop plots and stuff like that, no. I actually don't really remember what was all in those crates. Fortunately, I moved all the charcoal out of them. Which they probably would've just dropped on the ground because they thought it was worthless, but mm -hmm. forget all that. Alright, cool. And, uh... Slow down, you're going too fast. I know, dude. I'm carrying 900 tons. You see that, like, anvil at the bottom left and on the right in green? Like, I'm just completely capped. <laughs> Where's the wooden box? Stone and flint. That's not the right one. I want wood. What? Shit. This is the thatch one. How did I turn as I clicked it? Yeah, dude. Look at me. Speedy Gonzalez over here. I'm just out of control, dude. Too. I actually want to fix these stacks because they're not a hundred. I want to make sure all hundreds. That's pretty damn close. Tis raining! I should go out and drink the rainwater. I don't know where the hell we keep charcoal. Fiber? I can throw this in here. Apparently this is where we put junk as well. Why are there explosives in here? This is psychotic. Hey, did uh, did you guys ever find that Megalodon uh, uh, friggin' saddle you were looking for? I found a second one. I found two already in the base. Yeah, I put one in there earlier, so one of those is one that I brought over. Alright, cool. Um... What is not supposed to be here? You know what they should add? Box. They should add a tool, like a scythe or something, or a sickle, that you can go out in the fields and use in melee, and it will get fiber for you. I think that's brilliant. Dude, you should work on a farm in real life or something. <laughs> <laughs> You've definitely I solved mean, the puzzle. 
And that would be good. I mean, the dinos don't necessarily have to harvest it, because if you think about it, herbivores are going to be eating that. They're eating plant material, which is the fiber, so. Mm hmm. How did I get more wood in my bag? That doesn't even make sense. Anyway. We have way too many hide boxes, man. It's too much. Are these all full? Unreal. Like, we have like 900 buildings with 900 storage crates in each one, and they're all like basically full. It's ridiculous. I think I'm just gonna throw this shit in here. <laughs> Dude, I love this game. Carrot and chin, I guess that's where that goes. There's the jars I was looking for, oh my god. Oh, they can take this. Well, let's go get the stuff we disorganized. This is Abyss. Abyss, I'm gonna give you a full jar, because that's how much I love you. I do like having a couple dinosaurs in roaming. It makes the place seem a little more alive, but having them all in roaming was a huge pain in the ass. Maybe. I do like a few roaming though, that's for sure. That's so necessary. A few roaming I like. All all of them roaming, dude, it was miserable. We like, definitely still need them, roamers inside pens as well, so they have to trying engage to give them. The meat was like fucking the worst thing in existence. Oh I bet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to organize meat when they're roaming is insane. Uh, I can see that. If they're roaming, some people might think that we're online. You know, they'll think that we're the ones that are moving the dinos. Give it like a little bit of a uh, misdirection. Well, I'm pretty sure... True. I'm pretty sure they, they could sit there and watch for 10 minutes before figuring out that puzzle, but they are pretty retarded. So far, we have not en engaged anyone intelligent. I think like Midsoplik was the most intelligent out of the woodsmen, and he wasn't even like in the raid. I'm pretty sure he never even agreed to it. He was probably a I'll throw what happened. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep these on me. <laughs> 